there's a a group of men that lived within the mountain front main mo mostly to the south and they were men that used to help these people with their animals ranchers uh, in the fall time they gather the animals and when those people that own the animals are ready to round up their animal they call on these men men said why don't we make a society out of this since they're always calling on us and we'll call our society cowboy society they're not necessarily riders out of a rodeo but it was just men that were around horses and done these kinds of things so they called cowboy society Aputskinaskuma and by that they composed a song the cowboy society song that song still exists with us the society no longer exists because see we've been lost that round of time there was a time when our area was no fenced area it was all open they just roamed and today it's all closed in you don't need it and so this is the song <laughs> Just a little short prayer. about the glaciers but they were referred to by our elders that within the areas uh, they will refer to them as sakukute uh, awas sakukute means like glass because the glaciers were they shine like glass and they'll refer to them in that way that they were always within that area they, they never melt and that's how I hear them. You know. That's that's my understanding. That's how I heard our elders talk about our mountain area. And within those areas, referred to as the glacier areas. It's say that they were there, and they were, you know, they were, they were noticeable. You you noticed how they remained there all the time.
this is their this was their life within these areas they used it in every way they came to hunt they came to use the be in a wooded area they came to fast uh, they uh, prayed within these areas and it, it, it was very sacred to them in fact this one mountain they refer to it as the sacred mountain holy mountain not to use that holy mountain because it was very spiritual and that's how they they saw this area and they they were for I our elders a lot of times they would say the whole area this whole mountain front is sacred because this is where we get our visions and a lot of dreams people appear to a spiritual people in many ways you can hear things by the spirits and 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 this is how we direct our lives of the guidance that we get from those spiritual people. <laughs> 
think we're going to have too much within our lands, in our areas. I think we're going to dry up. We're going to find that we're going to be scarce about the water. We're going to find it difficult because water is our sacred. To the Indian people, water is sacred. If they can just have water, they'll go a long ways. If that's gone, it makes everything lie. So that's, that's a dangerous thing to lose our water, to lose that moisture that comes through, through these glaciers, through whatever means it does coming from the mountains. And so it's important. Today we already lost that fall big snow. We lost the spring big snow. Don't happen anymore. And it was always something that our people looked forward to. My sister received her Indian name from that fall big snow. It's Chichot Potak, Snow Woman. And that's how it was recognized. That's how real they were.
to our people that uh, even uh, a few years ago back those people that were still here with us that I interpreted for they saw things way back at that time even at that time that there were some changes taking place within the whole area not only our area they're saying there's too many things that's going up into the air too many things going up into the sky that's changing a lot of things our way of life even our way of life the way we see things and and today it's not that real anymore even our climate changed it's not the same we we know certain times this is what's going to happen this is what to look forward to Today we can't do it anymore because it changed so much. It's unpredictable anymore. And they knew that when things start changing, people are going to change. And it's true. A lot of our people don't really know what's really happening, our young people. And I think this needs to go back to them. They need to know more of what was happening, where we're at, where we're at today. Well, it is telling us to change. It's telling us find another direction. Find a way that things can connect again. Or we can start seeing some things for the future, for our young people. Because there's too many things that have happened. And there is a change. And it's, it's not going to come unless we, the people, start doing what we can to bring it back. And it's going to be difficult. Today we have a lot of changes, all kinds of changes. People today, sometimes they're afraid to do things. Something might not work together. So it's important that our young people, our people as a whole, understand that. And, and it can be done yet if we continue looking on to those spirits, those creators, the gods that our people pray to and they look to.
Okay, before I pray, I, uh, our people lived with the buffalo, and that was our source of life. Every part of the buffalo was part of us, and uh, our people followed them. There was a time when our people were without the buffalo, and they were they were looking for the buffalo. Uh, and uh, a place called Buffalo Lake on the Blackfeet Nation. It's on the east, towards the eastern part of the reservation. That's where they were during the winter time. And as they were looking for the buffalo, they, they wanted something to eat. So one of the men that was walking, they heard someone singing. They heard a song. They didn't. They didn't know where it was from coming from. Anyway, they were looking for who it was. Finally, it come up on a buffalo stone. And that was the one that was singing the song. And this is the song that Buffalo sang. There's the buffalo. You will find it. And that helped the people that were starving. Mm. They were wanting the buffalo. Mm. Let us pray. Ayo nena. Spomo kena no kuxisi koi. Anhua kiamo kaki. Iskana to mea. Paksa kamo tsi kaksa i ne. Nukse panta pish kina i ne. Anhua kai nti tapi mena niks. Is to bad a pea. A stay a moxicum of cheek of some a knee and a hammer. Is stay a moxicum of cheek. A gaki mark, and a gaki, sack your tires set a pea, a knee. No pacum of cheek you. He knew. Our creator, we ask that you will help protect and direct these people that are trying to protect our source of life, mm. the buffalo. We ask that you will guide them as they go forth in this effort. We ask that you will continue recognizing our way of life, our way of life as a buffalo. And so today, I ask that you will continue helping these people, whoever is concerned, that you will help directly that we will bring back our life to God. Mm. And as we do, that it will become greater and the source will be greater. And we ask this in thy name. Amen. Anya.
they're going to honor something. So we're going to honor David. Oh. Uh-huh. 
brown earth color woman takes me into the secrets of her size. When I step into the brown of her eyes, I find sight of special dreams, fluttering eyelashes and fluttering hearts, dancing in magic no one understands. When I step into the brown of her eyes, I find the comfort of a friend, a friend sharing shelter when only a friend can know to. When I step into the brown of her eyes, she teaches loving through caring, snuggling softly in my heart, helping me to just feel good. When I step into the brown of her eyes, the mysteries are different from confusion. Illusions are handled by seeing through. Clearly there is life ahead. When I step into the brown of her eyes, brown earth color woman takes me into the secrets of her size, gentling me in a balance of passion. Smiling into eyes, hungry for smiles. You take me where I want to be. You're my heart taker. You're a brand new day, bringing me in view of the sun. I see the sunrise in your laughter. I hear the forever songs in your kiss. I feel the future in your beating heart. I abandon loneliness for your embrace. You're my heart taker. Come to take my heart before it fades away. Blending into my dreams, showing me secrets of life. Holding my hand in the universe, you put together a breaking soul. Smiling into eyes, hungry for smiles. Enchanting today with your magic. Tomorrow can't help but to be good. You brought the world back to me. I think there's going to be a, loss, a lot of things lost through this. And I think it's going to... Uh, our young people are not going to have the same kinds of things to look forward to the same kinds of things to hope to use because they're not going to be there. And we need to find some other way. How can we encourage them to continue and to try to stay within the best that they can in our way of life, the end and way of life? And I think that's going to help them to start connect things together again. But right now, you know, they, they don't know what's going to happen in the future. They don't know that much about our past. They're just in between. We need to help that. To, to tell them that there is, you have a generation ahead of you that's going to be some changes. You need to know how to cope. Together. Good things happening suddenly. When the days were dark, you brought the sunlight nights, touching me in your being. Tender love and shelter moments. You were fame, you were fortune, you were peace, you were vision. Things I thought I wanted and things I really needed. Blowing my mind from the beginning. Your kiss melted the night. Our life is good. And it can be good. It's up to us. We have two different kinds of life. We have our traditional way, our Indian way of life. And then we enter into the life today, modern way. 